Yes, that's got to be a ritual, man. Or at least some sort of a uh, heart-sucking, possessed, satanic crack or bat. What? No, my wife is a transsexual Satan worshiper. You know, claiming that there's a slippery slope isn't always unfounded and isn't always mere fear-mongering because, of course, there are true slippery slopes. Just take morality, or rather ethics in general. All right, so in the 60s they said, oh, come on, mom, dad, you're so old fashioned. It's not the 50s anymore, 60s, man. Then in the 70s they said, it's not the 60s anymore, it's the 70s, we can do this now. And the 80s said the same about the 70s, and the 90s about the 80s. And it happened before the 50s. And it will keep on happening. As if chronology is an excuse for unethical behavior. But hey, we're not back in those days anymore, man. Today we can do this and that and the other, and it's okay because, uh, because of what? Because whatever, the slippery slope. And sometimes there's cultural poking and prodding, as I'll term it. Pop o cultural and also political. So two recent and interesting cases are the governor who demanded that pastors turn over their sermon notes so that the government, the city government, the state government could review them and approve or disapprove with regards to whether they contain anything against homosexuality. Now you could say, and this is what is being said, oh come on, that was just some crazy governor and of course the court just threw that out right away. It's ridiculous, it's meaningless. All it would take is for one court to approve it and then the next court to appeal to that court's ruling and on and on and on it would go. I mean, think about same-sex marriage. Oh, come on, that'll never happen. Ah, oh, come on. Well, guess what? Yep, it did, one court after another, falling like dominoes. So, sometimes things like that happen, and they're just like little tests to see who will speak out against, who will approve, just to see what happens. And it can snowball so that before you know it, it's full-blown. Another interesting case is the hoax that Disney was producing a movie called Princes about homosexual princes, a little kid's cartoon about homosexual princes. Well, everyone's laughing it up. Ah, <laughs> stupid internet. People believing that this was actually true, but it's just a hoax. Well, but <laughs> why do you think people take it seriously? It's because that stuff is no less than expected. It wouldn't be shocking in the least bit if Disney put out a cartoon movie for kids about homosexual princes. That's the issue. And guess what? Now someone got the idea to petition Disney to do just that. Right? So the issue is that slippery slope that um, the fact that Disney is so corrupt in the first place uh, virtually all its movies are about the occult begin with the parents being murdered or at least the mom and uh, are highly sexualized and just everything you can imagine so these are just examples everything's not always a fallacy and you get don't get to just shrug it off because it seems ridiculous because what seems ridiculous to you is turning on the light bulbs in somebody's mind and the things the way these things progress is by just one person after the other one group after another one state after another approving and approving and approving until the next thing you know yep it's full-blown it's actually real and then you scratch your head and ponder well my goodness how did we get here well we got here because when it seemed ridiculous, nobody said anything about it. And if anybody did, they were put down as being fear mongers or paranoid 
or conspiracy theorists.